Hey friends, Miss Cassie here with Story Time for All. This week we're going to read the book, What Do You Do With an Idea? This book is written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bensam. What do you think you do with an idea? Let's find out. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. Fragile means that it can break easily. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. Why do you think he wouldn't want to share his idea with other people? But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. That idea does look like fun. Look at it playing with the frogs. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. Kind of like a pet. It grew bigger, and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. That can hurt when people laugh at something that's important to you. And many people did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. It's not very kind. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. And look, the idea is getting bigger. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. That sounds nice. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big, and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands, because it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. And look, as the idea gets bigger and bigger, there's more and more color in the pictures. I wonder what that means. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. And now look, there's color everywhere. I don't know how to describe it, 
but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. And look, he's wearing the crown that his idea was wearing before. And look, do you see? There's other new ideas that are hatching and, and coming around in the world. Let's count how many new ideas we can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven and a bird wearing an idea crown too. I wonder what that means. The end. Have you ever had an idea that you thought would be so great? but it kind of took some hard work to make it happen. Maybe the idea was you wanted to learn something new, like learn how to dance or how to play an instrument, or maybe the idea was how to make something better, that you saw that there was something happening and you thought, I think there's another way that we could do this. All of those are great ideas, and if you pay attention to them, and you practice, and you invest in them, then sometimes really wonderful things can happen. So, now you know. What do you do with an idea? You share it with other people. Thanks so much for listening, friends. We'll see you next time for Storytime for All.